All right, everyone, so I just thought I'd make a quick video on this. Um, this right here is a piece of ore which contains a good grade of free mill gold and quartz. Uh, you can see you have quartz with a schistose rock, and this is just something I wanted to point out for a while. Uh, when you have gold in your ore, or in your rock, the grade at one ounce per ton, which is about 31 grams per ton, you cannot see it visibly with the naked eye. So this actually has around one ounce or 31 grams per ton. I uh, got this from someone who trucks it all the way from the interior of BC to his house uh, in a dump truck, processes it at his house, and it is profitable to mine. So you can see nothing. Uh, just because you can see nothing doesn't mean it has nothing in it. So what you want to do is always have your jeweler's loop when you're prospecting because you could miss a lot of things. Uh, always analyze the rock, any contact zones, anywhere you might think um, is a good area. You also want to do your research before you go out and know your gold bearing areas. So schists, quartz, they're all very, very good indicators of some kind of um, metal. Uh, they're both found in conjunction with gold, uh, sulfides, you name it. So definitely a good spot to look if you got some uh, quartz running through your schists where they come into contact or if there's veins of quartz, definitely good to look there. Again, this is one ounce per ton, and you can barely see anything if you can see anything at all. So always bring your jeweler's loop, handy tool, one of the most handy things you can bring.